Yes, it was a busy evening at the Bibb County Commission meeting tonight. Commissioners voted on a few issues, including renaming the city auditorium, an anti-discrimination ordinance, and pay increases for county employees. We dig into each item on the agenda, how leaders voted, and what it means for you in tonight's top story. We start with the Macon City Auditorium. Commissioners voted to rename the building after former Mayor C. Jack Ellis. The resolution passed 5-4 with Commissioners Valerie Wynn, Mallory Jones, Scotty Shepard, and Joe Allen voting against the name change. The renaming came up in a meeting last week and drew some opposition. So today, commissioners heard from the public about the name they wanted to see on the building. The county at, at large didn't think a lot of the uh, Ellis administration. There was a, there was a, a lot of distrust there. He, he's, a, he's a divisive political character. And I think that it is time that we did something to remember Macon's first uh, black mayor. And I commend those who are co-sponsors uh, on this. And I feel sorry for those folks who can sit up here and with a straight face say that he didn't do anything. Now, only 20 people were allowed to speak in the public hearing, 10 for and 10, 10 against the resolution, but many more of you weighed in online. On a Facebook post, Adrian wrote that she's so happy and it is the best news of today. But Becca disagrees. She says, what a joke. It should have been named after someone more prominent and that represented Bibb County better. Sandy thinks so too. She suggested the auditorium be named after a performer like Otis Redding and not a politician. Karima says she'd like to see the building renovated first, but thinks naming it after Little Richard would be a better option and more fitting after his death this year. Nancy wants to know what was the name being changed to begin with? She thinks the topic came up without a warning, and Jeremy thinks this kind of decision should be up to the people. He wrote, let the citizens of the city vote for who it should be named after. What do you think of the vote? Let us know by leaving your own comment on this Facebook post.